very first thing I want to demonstrate on the Osbot Meet SE is the HDR performance. So this is not HDR, this is just fully automatic settings. It's at 1080p, 60 frames per second. This is daylight only, no studio lighting. It already looks really good. The only issue is that behind me, there's a lot of blown out highlights just because of the light from the daylight that's bouncing off of the white background. Flip HDR on, and then it evens out that lighting so that you can see in the background, you actually see the detail of the individual shadows. And this is a really good effect. This is one of the best implementations of HDR. It's not a very extreme effect like a lot of other webcams do. And as far as movement, this actually retains the 60 frames per second, but not entirely. If I go frame by frame, maybe every like, 10 or 11 frames, something like that, it'll actually drop. I think it's just because it's doing that post-processing, but it's not every, it's not keeping every single frame, like if you have the HDR off, but this is actually a really good effect and I would go ahead and keep this on if you have a lighting environment like this. Now I've turned the HDR off and the sun is starting to set, so I don't really need it as much right now. I can turn on my studio lightings and I'll go ahead and demonstrate what this looks like with the studio lighting on and manual settings, but already just by itself, the colors look really natural overall there's a little bit of extra sharpening and that really shows off with the extra grain that's in the image but it's not too bad at all colors look good dynamic range is good sharpness is nice it's just a little bit gritty if you want something that's really budget that you can just slap on your monitor don't need to worry about the lighting this is an excellent choice now i've turned on my studio lighting and i have this webcam at manual settings it looks amazing. The color is a whole lot better. Lighting is even. Dynamic range is excellent. You don't have a lot of blown out hotspots and I don't even need to use HDR just because the lighting is so good. And you can tweak the manual settings to make this look exactly how you want. Since I have the exposure locked, when I put this up to the webcam, it's gonna be overexposed, but I just wanna actually demonstrate the autofocus so that you can see some of the text up at the top. And then back to my face. I really like how snappy this autofocus is. Boom, right there. Really snappy, really nice, really fast. The color accuracy is fantastic as well. Honestly, I only really have good things to say about this webcam in terms of the image quality. I got this for 70 bucks. Nothing at 70 or less looks as good as the Meet SE. This has a sensor size of one over 2.8 inches. And normally with sensors that are that small, Image isn't gonna look this good with daylight only or even with studio lights. So There's gonna be way more grain than this. It has an aperture of f1 over 1.8. So that is pretty wide considering the sensor size. Max resolution 1080p 60 frames per second. That's what I have it right now. Field of view is 78 degrees, and this is recording in MJPEG. This is the Opset Center software. You get a lot of excellent controls in here. You can't actually see this video preview when you have this webcam active in another software like Zoom or OBS, but you can still actually control the image here. Like you can toggle the HDR on or off, even if you're in OBS or something like that. So now I have the HDR on, like I showed, I already have some good lighting here, so that doesn't actually help here. It actually just kind of makes things look a little bit extra processed. Something that's excellent about having this in the Oswald Center is you can actually select the exact shutter speed so you're not gonna have strange numbers. So I'm gonna drop this down 100 and then one over 60 so I can get the exact value that I want. So this looks even better than when I had it in OBS because I couldn't see the actual shutter speed and ISO. Have the white balance on auto. You can do this manually if you want to, but I've usually found that Obsolete webcams, including this one, do such a good job with uh, the automatic white balance that I don't really need to do that. So I'm just leaving it on automatic for right now, but you can get full control over it if you want to. These are the gesture controls. I actually turned this off because I found it really annoying if you ever want to wave to somebody and this will start tracking your face and it's on by default. So you can go ahead and turn that off in the software. I don't think that you can turn it off without the software. I keep this off personally. Also, because this webcam doesn't have true pan tilt zoom like the Osbot Tiny 2 and the Tiny 2 Lite and the other Osbot webcams, this one you are going to get a digital zoom and crop. So it's just going to be moving around, basically zooming in and then cropping in a selection. Now I'm speaking into the Osbot Meet SE. A lot of different settings that you can change here. I like how you can turn the microphone off when this is sleeping. The noise reduction filter, if I set this off, should be able to hear my PC fan a lot more. Go ahead and turn this to strong. And I can even see in OBS that it's already gone down drastically. So I'm gonna put that to weak so that it's not causing too much of a distortion. You can disable the microphone entirely. 
You can change the radio distance, which is basically how far away that you're telling it that you are from the microphone. I don't know why it's called radio, but anyway, it's just kind of affecting the auto gain to make it louder or quieter based on how close or how far you are to the microphone. As for the build of this device, the Meet SE is square shaped. It's just under two inches horizontally and vertically. It has a privacy shutter, it's metal. Also the webcam itself is magnetic. The cable is 60 inches USB type C to C, but there's a C to A adapter in the box. If you want the webcam to be in portrait mode to record vertical format videos, then you just flip the webcam to be vertical and it'll automatically change, and then horizontal back to go to landscape. And as I get to my verdict, this webcam is almost perfect. The only thing that I have a problem with, honestly, is the fact that it is so obnoxious to get it back to its vertical orientation. I actually have no idea how to consistently do it. I couldn't find an option in the software. And actually moving it physically horizontally just doesn't seem to do anything consistently. Otherwise, the Oswap Me SE is one of the best webcams under $100, the best under $70 that I've ever used, one of the best under $100. I'll be making a top five webcams under $100 video, but I'm extremely happy with this webcam performance and I highly recommend it.